Monday morning, back down south. Welcome back to the videos in Richmond Park, which is open to cyclists only in the week still. Just on my way to meet Tobias, who luckily is on an easy day. Thank God. Mate, someone's got the bench. Guys, both of them. Should have pre-booked it. That's what you gotta do in these COVID days, isn't it? Since I last saw you, you did your longest ride ever. Yeah. How long was that? Tell me about that. 304k, lap, of, lap of London. Yeah, it was quite a big one. It was around the M25? Around the M25, over Dartford Crossing, all of it. And there and back as well? Yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty sweet. How did you find it? It was all right. I had one rough patch, but after that, it felt pretty cruisy. Just kept eating, you know? I want to do that. Maybe I'll get Lawrence and do it. Yeah. Like Dude, how long did it take in hours? 10. 10 hours. Yeah, but we, we we added a few laps on at like at the end to round it up to 300. <laughs> yeah, of course. I've got headwind home. It's not fair. It was headwind on the way here as well. I'll see you soon. Thanks for riding easy. And soon we'll come back and do part three of Cat One Race that tears my legs off. Or first cat racer, as everyone likes to say in the comments. I've got a lot of American viewers, all right? Should do hills again next week. Hills, candy, yeah. Okay, webs. Sure, let's go for it, mate. We'll both turn up in skin suits. <laughs> oh, we've got to get 100k an hour down that descent as well. Uh, yeah. Cold harbour, yeah? Be sketchy. <laughs> Regular viewers of the channel will know that usually I get up 5 a.m. every day, or try to. The trip up north though really messed things up. I guess we were on northern time with Jimmy and Emily, and um, my sleeping patterns have shifted. So today getting up really early, I just can't wake up properly. I've had like seven coffees. Well, eight coffees. I'll get back in the swing of things soon. Bagels. Really old viewers of the videos may remember that I used to use a GoPro mount which was down on the axle of my wheel called the Nutter, made by my friend called Greg. In his words, I turned to the dark side and started using through axles. All of my bikes are now through axles. So I had to stop using the mount because it wouldn't fit on my bike. He's made me a special edition prototype Nutter that will fit on my through axle bikes. And that's what's in this packet. I can't show you the bottom because it will give away his design but it's very, very clever. I can show you this bit. This is the actual nutter. I did show you guys this the other day, but I haven't got around to fitting it today. I'm gonna give it a test. Uh, me and Daisy are gonna go riding around the park later and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. I'm gonna put a link down below uh, to a page that we've set up on the nutter website if you wanna buy one, but they do only have the quick release one. He hasn't finished the design for the through axle one. So if you've got a quick release bike, it will work for you and the footage looks Pretty good. I am mainly using the grill mount, which is what we're doing the competition for at the moment. But if you are gonna use a fixed mount, this is one of your best options because it does give such a unique point of view. Anyway, I'm gonna bang this on my bike and then go for a ride. It should look cool with those carbon deeps. So it turns out Brown from Brown's Bikes has a mechanic job just down the road. He is now here to say hello. He's also got something cool to show me. And you. You got something cool to show me? Yes. Yeah? Show me the money, show me the money. What have you got? I've got some exciting wheels to show you. Pimp gravel wheels. Oh man, they are cool. Strada's on what hubs? There, that one's on a DT. These are your wheels? No, these are for a customer. And that's a uh, Cannondale lefty. Oh, hub. sick. New Conti tan I was just saying walls. the tan wheels are the coolest <laughs> thing. Yeah. So these are the, I actually, these are the ones I rode across Australia. For yes. no reason, because I probably should have just used road tyres, but <laughs> they were pretty good. Yeah. So this is the tan ones. That's oh. it. Dog had a good face. So light as well, for gravel wheels. What the? You could just keep them. <laughs> She's famous now. You're famous. Yeah. She's got Thanks. got a thousand Instagram yeah, followers. Yeah, a thousand followers. If anyone wants to sponsor me, I'm open. Uh, obviously Atticus. Uh, Sun God, wear my glasses. I think you forgot mine in the post. So with Daisy testing out this GoPro mount, quick spin in the park, second ride of the day. Lovely evening. It's like 25 degrees today, which is nice. Legs haven't quite recovered from the trip up north. It's uh, such brutal riding up there because of all the climbs and the wind and the rain. Not too much rain. Bike Fit Tuesday is on the road edition. Daisy's cleats are too far forward. So you've been riding my mountain bike shoes for the last- Since January. Yeah. 
and the cleats are slammed as far back as they'll go. Now my road shoes are as far forward as they'll go, but it feels like I'm dancing on my tiptoes. Yeah, so we're gonna give you a little adjustment. These are already as far back as they'll go. Oh no, to buy some new road shoes then. Zero, zero shoes. I remember you saying you used to get cramp on them. So what do I buy then? Shimano's, like Lakes. so fucking expensive. Lakes are made of leather though. No, they do a vegan one. Do they? Yeah. Does James sell it? How's the new bike that we're not going to get on film? It's so annoying because I want to post it online. We'll show it off soon. We'll show it off soon. Sneak peek. Shut up. Sneak peek. Real. Snake. Look at it. Watch out, there's a snake. It's quite big actually, isn't it? What a rush. I love how you've gone to all these crazy countries and then you spot a snake in Richmond. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the biggest snake I've seen. Well, actually, there was one in Australia that was a king brown. That was really dangerous. I don't think that one's oh, you dangerous. Did see one. Yeah, we rode past him. He was asleep, that and then he woke it. up and tried to kill us. <laughs> right, fairly abrupt end to today's video. I'm knackered. I need to do some work and then sleep. As always, a huge thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and a like it really, really helps out. Got some cool stuff coming up this week, including a look at Daisy's brand new bike. See you all soon.